and whether it's Sun Belt or you know all the way down to the southeast, they still choose to live here because usually, except today, the weather is 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 really nice. Um, but they just cannot stand doing business here. And then the the other third um, sort uh, uses the same uh, has the same mindset that that uh, you mentioned that they like to transact here because it's so tough and they have the stomach and the wherewithal to go through a five year or longer entitlement process of a challenging site because they know that once they get it entitled it's gold and that there is a lack of supply unlike some of these other places where you can just build forever um i'm not saying one is right or one is wrong it's just different ways to make money in and make a livelihood in in this business yeah i agree i think one of the things that's going to be interesting as you mentioned is what's going to happen with office you know my gut and my thesis is that the government will step in at some point and try to help with some conversions there now whether that works or not um time will tell um, but also you got to look at tech right like how is tech going to start to impact real estate to bring down whether that be cost of construction um, or the ability to maybe, you know, you see these 3D homes now that are being created. Is that going to sort of shift some of the dynamics? And I think when it comes to construction costs, as I'm talking to GCs, I don't know how much you're in the construction world, but, you know, GCs are like, yeah, we, we kind of thought construction costs were going to start coming down because rates were going up. But I think what a lot of people are forgetting, Andrew, is you've got $750 billion of COVID money that states are sitting on, which needs to be appropriated by the end of this year and then spent in 25, which is going to be a lot of roads and bridges and et 